nice warm morning here at uh, Irwin Park. I like to start at the lower lot, get this uh, field hill climb out of the way. It's nothing too difficult, uh, just a little bit long and I um, like to start it with a little bit of energy. I'm going to focus on the features today. Yes, there's some fields. I've heard some complaints. Irwin's got fields. Uh, but, you know, if you're a Strava type or cross country, you can bomb up them. Uh, if you're a beginner or intermediate, they're all rideable. But guess what? There's some downhill fields too. A lot of fun. But we're going to focus on some features um, that uh, Irwin Park has a lot of. All right, first little feature, a little drop. Don't have to take a lot of speed into it. You need to dip your head. Point your tire right up the middle. Maybe lift a little bit. You don't need to pedal through it. Just pedal once you get through. I like to go around that dip, take a little extra speed into this one. So there's no climbing. All right. A little quick climb here, burst of energy. Another one, once you've made it, you'll make it every time. Just a little kicker line here. One of the two newest features, a little drop up here. There's been some crashes on it. I think people just didn't really know what to expect. Didn't preview, pre-ride and, and ride. All you need to do is come off of it even. Don't pitch forward. Use your dropper post if you have one not required you don't have to hop take a bunch of speed there's a nice slope coming out of it and it's kind of fun here we go it's a nice skinny bypass to the left if you're not comfortable And a small little drop. Two miles extra loop just added. City McKinney bought this property and Trail Stewards added some mileage. They call it the Cutlass Loop. Super beginner friendly. Trail's just getting burnt in. That's the entrance off of the airfield. I know what you see is what you get. There's a couple ponds out there. You're gonna see wildlife. I've seen deer, great blue herons, white egrets, turtles in the pond. And here coming up on the exit to Cutlass Loop. Like I mentioned, great uh, trail for beginners. Nothing surprising. A little road runner there. You can access this from the skills park come back up the driveway there's a blue metal gate just thread your way around use this service road and then go past the exit and hit the entrance right down there you'll see that blue cutlass coming up on the skills park morning you can take the trail line up there well, I like to come up here and hit the intermediate. Like I said, I'm not a big jumper. You've got some beginner lines. All really fun. I like this one, easily controllable. Catch a little air without much danger. Really feel like you're sending it. There's a three-way option here. Party drop, which you can actually roll. A little log roll bypass or a small drop. This is a section they call 
Vermapalooza. Planning on building these up a little more. Let you take a little more speed, or if you're a beginner, you can ride the bottom. And then coming up after this hill, rock garden to the right, kind of a rolling drop in the middle, and bypass on the left. little log roll coming into the zigzag field kind of zigzags even a beginner can climb this thank you nice little jump here just up on your pedals float right over little bridge feature here tree gate leads up to a a roller coaster section. I love this route on the left and the mound on the left. Just float right over, take a little speed. This guy, a kick, a little float, not even a pedal through there. A lot of fun. Tricky little corner. Hop. All right, next feature. I've seen riders carry this whole thing. I'm gonna case it, it's just nice and safe for me. You can bypass it. All right, coming up on the screaming drop, an armored drop. Just don't use your brakes, coast. You can apply brakes if you want or just use the berm. Nice little hop. I like this off camber drop here. I don't know why, I just think that's fun. So this is the city of McKinney, Irwin Park, but the parks department does not maintain the trail. Uh, you've got a trail steward, Sean, and trail crew who volunteer. Add features at a minimum. You should join Dallas Off-Road Bike Association, DORBA, because that helps pay for fuel, tools, mowers. Come on out and volunteer, even for just an hour. Get to know some of the trail crew, get to know the trail, start to understand why they do what they're doing, what it takes to maintain the trail. And then when you're riding, you feel a little bit of satisfaction but you definitely want to communicate with the trail steward. No rogue trail work, no gorilla trail work, uh, but you can certainly even come out for an hour and do something and it can be a big benefit. Another little feature here to get over a downed tree. If those are wet, they can be slick. Another tree down. A little roller coaster section. I like to put some speed on. So I'm not grinding up the hill. Nice and wide, easy for beginners. Bypass to the left. Nice banked snake bridge. All right, a little bit about the equipment. I got this 2019 Jeff C Pro Racer in the fall. Before COVID hit, I was able to get a nice discount full suspension 
switched it over to tubeless have not had a flat in about three years highly recommend tubeless and it's a carbon frames and nice and light more bike than man for sure um, but it's been very dependable haven't had to do a bunch of upgrades came standard with a dropper post and uh, all right last section for me come back up to that lower parking lot a little bit about trail etiquette um, this beginners this trail is just as much yours as somebody out here setting personal records from Strava if you're in the woods hopefully that faster rider is doing themselves a favor and calling out rider back so you can make accommodation move over for them let them know hey you can take the left or the right and hopefully they're letting you know hey two more riders back so you can accommodate for that no surprises out in the field they can still let you know they're coming but they can go left or right in the field without you moving and as far as hikers joggers hopefully they're going the opposite direction you can see each other accommodate so you can keep moving If they're going with the flow bikes coming up behind them, I like my hub that sounds like a rattlesnake, gives a little warning, or you can call out rider back. If they step aside for you, make sure to thank them so that we can enjoy the trail together.